Welcome back to CJ's Kitchen. Thanks so much for tuning in again. I just got my treats box for October and as always I'm really excited to share and as always please let me know in the comments if there's something that you would really like to see me do. Um, food you'd like me to taste, dishes you'd like me to cook or that you want to learn how to cook and I'll see what I can do. So with that let's get started and take a look at our box for October. So I'm just opening up the um, the box and right on top is the card that always comes with it and it says um, greetings from treats this month's treats come to you all the way from the United Kingdom yes so I'm really excited because the last two have both been Asian and that's fine I've enjoyed them quite a bit but I've definitely been looking forward to moving on to you know something that's um, hopefully going to be really different and and so it says it has an incredibly diverse culture that's reflected in the range of snacks. So in this box, we're going to find snacks ranging from recent innovative creations such as Guinness beer flavored potato chips, that should be fun, to traditional classics such as fruit gums, which have been around since 1890 before. So they say they made sure to include a balanced mix of savory and uh, snacks and to finally do that. And so I'm really excited to see what's in here. So I'll open it up. And we have, as always, a list that tells us everything that's inside. Hey, I'm excited. So let's get started. So right off the bat is Tato 6. This is fun because I'm going to be able to read everything. It says that these are cheese and onion flavored potato chips. And they call this a big bag. This is actually, to me like the small snack size that you get in a snack pack here in the States, um, as opposed to like the big grab. So let's give them a taste. They look like they like a typical um, Lay's potato chip or maybe even a kettle chip. We'll see how crispy they are. <laughs> now kind of in between. They're closer to a Lay's chip um, that we're familiar with. You have a delightful light crunch. I can definitely taste the onion. They are lightly salted, so they're not they're not super salty, which is always nice. I'm not really getting the cheese flavor, but they're really tasty. These would be great just to snack on or with a sandwich. Very nice. Well, let's see. Okay, so next. I want to try these rhubarb and custard candies. They're made by Stockley's. Confections, it says that uh, confections from Stockley sweets are traditional English sweets. Stockley sweets has been making English sweets in the traditional way since 1918. Um, it has this sugary coating on the outside. And then it's interesting because you can see that it's um, kind of, it's almost like it's two pieces. Let's give it a taste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to say it's an enormous piece of candy. You could probably tell that I was struggling to do anything with it in my mouth. And it was pretty hard, so I couldn't just bite into Actually, it has kind of a clove overtone. It might even be more accurate. Candy melded together. Anyway, that sugary coating on the outside is where the sort of clove flavor was coming from. Once I got past that, and then I could kind of taste the candy a little bit more. It wasn't until I chewed it up that I could really distinguish the custard flavor versus the rhubarb flavor. And even then, it took me a while to really catch the rhubarb. Um, but there was finally a nice tartness when I got into the pink peat part of it. Um, so it was pretty good. These are definitely not my favorite, um, but I, I'll probably end up working my way through them and sharing them with my husband and maybe he'll like them. We'll see. So we'll come back to that one. So the next thing is this lion bar. On the card. Lion Bar by Nestle are made from creamy wafer filling, which is covered by a layer of caramel and further coated in milk chocolate 
and rice crisps. The different layers of the bar give it a texture that is both chewy and crispy. Well, let's see if that's true. Oh, and this is what it looks like. You can see the crispies on the outside. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> so when I read the description saying that it was a wafer, I expected something really, really light like those wafer cookies, but it's actually a lot like a Twix. So that's what it looks like inside. The Rice crispy or the crispy style treats give it a nice um, additional crunch, and it's really, really chewy. So it's, it really is, reminds me a lot of a Twix bar, but it's got a very nice ratio of chocolate and cookie and caramel. Um, it's not overly sweet because there's so much, you can see there's a lot of cookie in there. So that's very nice. I like that one a lot. So we'll move on to another one. Here's another candy bar. This is by Lee's and it's orange, Jaffa, Jaffa orange, excuse me. And let's see what we can learn about this. Um, Jaffa orange bars are chocolate bars that consist of orange fondant filling coated in Belgian chocolate. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, they contain rich flavors of both orange and chocolate, which blends together to create an intensely unique taste. So it's it's pretty heavy for its size and it feels very dense. Um, I guess I wish there was a way to show you that, but I'll we'll just tear into it. Bottom. Uh, it looks like it might have, maybe it melted a little at the warehouse or something, but this is what it looks like. It's definitely a, a dense bar. It's so sticky. I'm probably going to have to wash my hands after this one. But we'll give it a taste. Manja. Mmm. That has started to melt a little bit. Mmm. But I have to say, the balance of the orange and chocolate is really, really lovely. Um, the middle fondant has a nice um, chew to it, not as dense as um, like a caramel or a nougat. It's chewy in a really pleasant way. It's um, fairly sweet. It's a good thing it's dark chocolate because I think it would be overly sweet if it was milk chocolate. But the balance of orange and chocolate is really nice. This is this is lovely. Um, so I'm gonna go wash up and okay, I think it's time to try a cookie. So uh, Walker's shortbread. These are actually not unfamiliar to me at all. I I don't know if I've ever actually had them, but I've seen them um, in a couple too. But anyway, so this is there's two. Um, wafers inside the package just like it shows and they look like this lovely traditional shortbread let's give it a taste <laughs> have to say I'm wishing I had some tea right now um <laughs> it's lovely it's really buttery it's got a nice um really nice texture to it it's not as dry as you would think, um, looking at it. Of course, compared to the things that had chocolate all over them, there it's dry, but um, but it's very nice. It has a nice, um, a really nice density and texture to it. Mm. Yeah, and it's really buttery, not super sweet, which is always, which can be really nice. Perfect with tea. Go on to the chips. So this is fruit and nut toffee. And I'm going to confess right up front, here I am, a girl from Seattle. Almond Roca is king out here, and I've never cared for it. I am not a big toffee fan, so I don't have high expectations. But this does look pretty pretty lovely. Um, it looks like 
It looks like raisins and nuts and then the toffee. Let's see if I'm close. Uh, this is made by Walkers and it says that these are traditional English toffees. The toffee itself is creamy and sweet in taste um, and hard and chewy in texture. <laughs> it's made with no artificial colors, no preservatives, and no hydrogenate, hydrogenated vegetable oils. It says whack, then unwrap <laughs> and enjoy. So I am going to do exactly that, so bear with me. It did break it a little bit, <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try to get a piece. Here's a piece that has the toffee and the fruit and the nut. Here we go. <laughs> mm. Okay, that's just much better than almond roca. It actually has a really strong vanilla flavor. Very creamy. Um, as you can tell, it's really, really chewy. I have to say, I wish it had more nuts. But, not bad. It's pretty good. I think I was right about that being raisin. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to see what my husband thinks of this one. But, not bad. Not bad at all. So next, let's try these fruit gums. Actually, I think. Yes, fruit gums by Round Trees. <laughs> Chewy, fruit-flavored gummies that contain real fruit juice and no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Well, that's really cool. Initially introduced back in 1893, fruit gums are a timeless and classic British treat. So, um, looking at the package, it looks to me like there's orange and probably lime because there's green and I see purple, that's probably grape. Um, there's no explanation. When oh, I see a red one down here in the corner too, so we'll see. We'll just see what we get. So right off the bat, oh, it opened almost too easy. This is what it looks like. So it has little uh, cross hatches and it's actually kind of hard. Mm-hmm. It's hard like a really old gumdrop, so <laughs> I think it's an orange one. I could be chewing on this all day though. <laughs> um, it definitely has a nice, this one's the orange. I finally can taste it enough. Um, I hope they're not always hard like this. Maybe this is, maybe they're on the old side. Um, if I see them anywhere and have a chance to pick them up or if anybody's familiar with these, do let us know um, because I'm definitely finding them hard. I wouldn't eat them and I'm definitely not going to try another one even though I'd like to know how the flavors are because it's just too hard to chew and it's stuck in my teeth and texturally it's really unpleasant. Not a fan. So next, let's do our last chip which is the Guinness potato chips that were mentioned in the um, intro card. It says these are Burt's Thick Cut Hand Cooked Potato Chips. So I think these are going to be a kettle style chip. Let me get this open. I'm not going to try to pour them out on the plate again because I'm having, I have kind of a tight space tonight and it just isn't working out well. But there they are inside. So you might rem remember um, one of my Cost Plus uh, World Market hauls, I did buy some beer flavored potato chips. These look completely different than those. These actually look like they have some sort of seasoning on the outside that could be the Guinness. I'm going to pull one more out so you can see this one has a lot on it. So I hope that that is seasoning. It feels like it. Let's give it a taste. Mm. <laughs> it has that great kettle 
style chip crunch. It's a little lighter in texture than the kettle chips we have here. And it's not a super salty chip, so again, I always... So, they definitely have a unique flavor, and I like it. Whatever it is, it's very pleasant. It definitely is more of a beerish flavor than the chips I got from Cost Plus, but I'm still not sure it's really beer that I'm tasting, but it doesn't matter because these are really, really good. So if you can get your hands on these, do pick them up. <laughs> so next, I think we're going to go with the last candy bar, which is, I believe, yep, the last one. This is an arrow bar in our area. So I know I have been wanting to try this. So let's see what it says about it. It's Arrow Peppermint Bar by Nestle. I wondered if it was peppermint because of the green. So you have the green and the chocolate. Um, these are chocolate bars with mint flavored filling consisting of tiny air bubbles. The air bubbles give arrow bars a bubbly texture enabling the chocolate to melt in your mouth when you chew on it. I'm so looking forward to try. I almost bought one of these at the store the other day and I decided I was at Cost Plus and I'd gotten a few things already and I knew I wanted to get some things for my kitchen so I decided to hold off but I have to admit that it I was really really tempted so I broke it open and that's what it looks like inside you can see all the bubbles I keep aiming for the wrong spot so my view windows over to this side and I keep trying to um, point the food at the window viewing window instead of the camera so sorry about that anyway it's lovely I can smell the mint and the chocolate it smells like a kind of like a thin mint cookie It's really different. <laughs> it's very sweet. I almost expect it to have some crunchiness because of those air bubbles, but of course it doesn't say anywhere that there's going to be crunch, so it's totally within what it should be. Um, it's pretty sweet though. It's milk chocolate, um, but it has a nice balance of chocolate to mint, and if you're a fan of chocolate and mint candies, you'd probably really enjoy it. I would definitely have this again. I think it's really fun, and I definitely would like to try um, some other flavors. I believe I saw one other flavor at Cost Plus, so neat, fun product, and, um, and nice milk chocolate. It's decent quality. It tastes really good, so the last item in the box are these custard creams. It's, uh, these are from Hill. This Hill Biscuits says, and says they are vanilla flavored cream sand. So this is what it looks like inside. It's got a nice stamping on the exterior, and then the cream in the middle, which you can't really see at the moment. But let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Hmm. That's really good. Definitely need some tea with this, or if you're a coffee drinker, coffee would be great. But it's, the the filling gives it a nice, um, a nice moisture, enough moisture to kind of balance it out. Um, and then it adds just enough sweetness. The cookie isn't super, super sweet. It has a very nice balance, too, of the cream to the cookie. Um, and the cookie's got a really nice light biscuit. So I thought I'd just peek at the card and see if it gives us any other any other information. It does say that custard creams are a type of English biscuit that is made up of vanilla cream filling sandwiched between two biscuits. Well, that we knew. Um, in a poll of 7,000 Britons, 9 out of 10 voted custard, cre custard creams to be their favorite biscuit. <laughs> I love hearing that. That's, that's really fun. So these are definitely delightful. Out of the entire box, I think my favorite thing is, I think this is actually my favorite, um, the Lion Bar. Um, I like the caramel and the cookie and the chocolate. Um, 
And then of course the chips. Chips are always going to be my favorite because I'm just chips. So these were my favorite of the two in there today, but they're both really good. So anyway, that's it. And um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you have tried one of one of these um, subscription services, please do let me know which one you've tried and what you think of it. And if you've had any of the treats in here and you know anything about them or you just want to share your opinion, I'd love for you to do that. So do um, let me know in the comments. And again, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And until next time when I see you in my kitchen, ciao.